Hello there and welcome to the new ClickSense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at the bottom function so not below I have not updated it but let me just quickly update that we will going to look at the bottom function and its parameters are same all right so what bottom does well it's as the name suggests it goes to the bottom of the table like in this case this particular row and picks you this particular value so that let's say you want to put some or create some calculation based on the last value then you can apply this calculation on every row so how we can do that let me select this table add a column add a measure and in the expression editor we will going to write bottom sum of sales whatever the expression uh, we want and then first of all this is the minimum that you need to provide so after that you click apply so what it is giving you over here is this particular value as you can see now since you have this value picked up you can apply it to this particular cell so for example i want to add the bottom sales so what i can do is i will simply say sum of sales in the expression plus bottom of sales so all the values right so this particular value is added to all the columns so it's uh, it's uh, addition subtraction division multiplication whatever you want to do it's it's very easy after that once you have picked up the value now if you have a need uh, to get a little bit of flexibility that not this value but this value you want the second last value then provide the second last two so what you get is 1891025 over here similarly so on and so forth for the rest of the value if you want the third from third value from the last then this is what it is coming but if you want the first value so what do you do in that case well you will have to really count it right 1 2 3 4 5 but there is a shortcut you can do minus 1 so minus 1 will give you this particular value so as you can see bottom has a lot of flexibility as you would see in most of the ClickSense function is just that you need to be a little bit aware about uh, how the value is getting picked in these uh, particular functions now uh, as uh, if you have seen my previous video about above below it has the offset which we have already talked about and count uh, to take the count let's say you want basically a range of these three or a range of these two values uh, for the purpose of calculation then you can provide the even count of uh, number of count that you want so for example if I say 1 comma 3 and do it over here so right now the count it is not taking any count because or not providing you any uh, special information but just the last value because uh, whenever we apply this count we need to use some sort of uh, additional function like uh, a range function which is range sum range average so what i can do is i can simply say range a v g and wrap this around to see the impact click apply and now you see the range which is the average of these three value all right so if you want that you will have to use the range average so this is nothing but the range average of bottom three values so that's about the various flexibility that you can get from the the bottom function when you nest it with the range average function so that's pretty much it in this video and I'll meet you in the new video with the new topic.